Now what is very important at the beginning of this to note is you need to have a time service running. Now mostly the reason for this is because you're using Kerberos authentication on a Windows domain and Kerberos tickets have an expiry time so the time must match the same time as is in the Active Directory. So we're going to go quickly through configuring our uh, network time and one of the first things we need to do is make sure that we're using a time server that can be the same as our domain. So I'm going to quickly go sudo, I'm going to edit. So I'm using nano, you can use other tools such as v or cat etc. But I'm just going to use the one that I like which happens to be nano. So I've got an npt and there's a conf and I'm going to open it and you can see here we have all of the configuration. So this is a long, long, long list of servers that can be used and some example configurations. Now I'm not going to modify all of these because I'm going to actually leave the text pretty much default with one exception. I am going to add a line for this. I'm going to call it server and I could put the IP or I can put the domain. So in this particular instance, I know what the IP is. Uh, so I'm going to just going to put the IP, and I can also use the domain and allow DNS lookup. And I'm just going to exit that. It's going to ask me, do I wish to save it? I'm going to say yes, and I'm done. So then I have my network time set up done. So next I'm going to now check my IP configuration. So again I'm going to use nano, I'm going to go into the exit folder, I'm going to go to network, and I'm going to go to interfaces, and as you can see I have a network configuration. So at the moment it's a static address, I have my network, I have my gateway, I have my DNS search order, which I've already pre-populated. However, I've got public DNS servers in here, so I'm going to have difficulty resolving the name. So I'm just going to make sure that my primary domain server is one of my domain boxes, which in this case is the 16. So I'm just going to exit out of that. Again, I'm going to save it. And I'm now going to do a quick uh, ping, or in this case, NS lookup. So to confirm that I can resolve uh, the domain. So I'm going to go for lab.local. Let's go respond. It can find lab.local on this address. I'm going to check the server. And I can get a response telling me that I can resolve names from that. And this is a very important step because we need to be able to resolve names before we can move much further forward. Otherwise the connection that we're going to achieve will be not possible. So we've got basic connectivity now. We have the time service. We have the um, DNS lookups running. Next we're going to start configuring the Kerberos client and the Samba client to work with those configurations.